This is our planet, the one place we all call home. And this is part five, our high seas. Welcome to a world that's a long way from land. Our high seas stretch far and wide. Beyond the boundaries of any country, these wild kingdoms are home to incredible marine life. And in this picture, we can see a humpback whale as it roams the open ocean. All about our high seas. Far beyond the shallow coastal waters, the high seas cover nearly half our planet. They are owned by nobody and are vital to the health of our world. The high seas support life from the deepest ocean floor to the surface and even beyond. Seabirds soar above and dive into the water after food. The Wilson's petrel is one of the most common, a plucky little bird that flutters above the water and scoops out plankton with its feet. Sharks patrol the waters, along with fast-moving schools of tuna and squadrons of spinner dolphin, up to 1,000 strong. In crossing these watery wildernesses, the spinner often leaps from the water to earn its name by twisting through the air. In places, the high seas can be more than 11 kilometres deep. Here can be found deep water giants, such as the 17 metre long oarfish and squid the length of buses, along with little lanternfish that can produce their own light. On the ocean bed, far from the surface, cold coral ecosystems and hydrothermal vents make some parts of the landscape look like an alien world. From top to bottom, the high seas are one of the world's richest spaces for life on the planet. They also face great threats. We once thought that the high seas were too big for us to damage. Now we know this majestic habitat is in danger like never before. Special quality. Across the high seas, whales and fish mix up essential nutrients as they migrate through the waters. Hunting in fertile hotspots, their poo adds to the, these nutrients, which allows marine life to thrive. And in this picture, we can see spinner dolphins flying through the air. Stories from our high seas, Big Blue. The blue whale is the largest animal ever to have existed on Earth. It weighs up to 200 tons and can grow 30 meters long. These graceful giants roam every ocean from the tropics to the icy poles, and yet much of their lives remain a mystery to us. Despite its vast size, the blue whale stays out of sight for much of the time. In fact, we still don't know where they go to breed. We have only recently discovered a few special places where blue whales come close to shore, like the Gulf of California on Mexico's Pacific coast. Here, we find the world's biggest newborn, a baby blue. Just a month old, she's already 8 metres long and weighs 6 tonnes. The mother shelters her young one with a protective fin. They swim side by side, building a close bond before it's time for them to part. Growing up to three tons a month, the young blue will eventually leave these sheltered waters for life in the high seas. Once there were more than 300,000 blue whales worldwide, but in the last century they were hunted so much that only a few thousand survived. Blue whales are now protected, as are other whale species, such as the humpback and mink, and numbers are slowly increasing. Even so, threats remain as we are harming the oceans that are their home. Global cooperation can work. Whales were on the brink of extinction 40 years ago, but were saved by an international agreement that prevented whaling. Only with global cooperation will our oceans recover, so now it's time to save whole oceans as well as the whales. And in this picture we can see a blue whale mother and her baby. 
High Seas Heroes Most marine activity across the high seas can be found close to the surface. This is because the sun's light and energy can penetrate and fuel the growth of tiny drifting plants called photoplankton. This is a vital food source for many sea creatures and the basis of the whole ocean food chain. Phy photoplankton might be microscopic, but often grow in enormous groups called blooms. These blooms contain millions of individual phytoplankton and can be seen from space. What's more, phytoplankton absorb carbon dioxide from the air and produce almost the same amount of oxygen as the planet's forests and grasslands. Whale Whisk Left undisturbed in the water, phytoplankton will eventually sink down into the depths and decay. This is where whales come in. Take the blue whale, which is as big as a commercial aeroplane. It produces a lot of poo, and this provides marine manure for phytoplankton. What's more, by flicking their tails as they swim and feed, these huge creatures stir up the water and help keep the phytoplankton where it needs to be, near the surface. Shine on. In the depths of the high seas, far from the reach of sunlight, many species are bioluminescent. This means they create their own natural light to attract prey or to see and avoid predators. Deep Sea Treasure We used to think that corals were only found in the warm, sunny shallows. Astonishingly, deep sea corals are thought to cover a greater area of the sea floor in the cold and dark depths of the high seas than their shallow water relatives. Protecting our high seas. Hope for the high seas. Recycling responsibly is one thing, but imagine a world in which nothing is thrown away. If we seek out products designed to last or that can be upgraded and repaired but never wasted, then our magnificent oceans will thrive. Save our phytoplankton. To protect these microsco microscopic but mighty marine plants, we need to care for the marine life that relies upon them, from the smallest fish to the largest whale. Rethink high seas fishing. It's challenging and expensive, and many high sea species are endangered. But if we choose only fish from sustainable coastal waters, high sea stocks will return. That's good for the phytoplankton and great for our planet. Put a stop to the plastic peril. When discarded, plastic breaks down into fragments in seawater. It can get inside plankton. As a result, this waste is slowly contaminating the marine food chain. We have to change our ways. And that is the end of part five, our high seas from our planet, the one place we all call home.